Welcome back. Let's play some 10 minute games here on Jokey Wars. If there is a mate with a pawn drop, there is also a legal checkmate. So says the proverb. So has been demonstrated to be true in many circumstances, but possibly not all. I'm a bit curious, but uh, it is interesting wisdom. Good luck. If nothing else, perhaps the proverb suggests that... Um, uh, I'm trying to think of how to explain it. Oh, that's interesting. Wait, how does this work? Uh, it doesn't. <laughs> Or rather, this is just an exciting uh, gambit of a sort. I wouldn't have guessed it, though. I guess if Rook takes, I'm supposed to offer a Rook exchange. Because nothing else seems plausible here. Or, this could mean that maybe... This strategy might not be viable against Static Rook. Um, but that seems a bit uh, strong of a conclusion. Let's see. I mean, this doesn't look good at all. <laughs> but... Um, or rather, we've seen far better... But, how bad can it be? So I'm down one pawn, but I do have my rook in hand. I'm not sure that this is a good idea. Uh, let's go this way anyhow. As long as we're playing something different, let's see how different we can make it. So, let's just pull out all the stops and see what happens. Now, pushing the king's head pawn seems a bit crazy, so... Oh, wow. Looks like we're going here. Um, interesting. All right, I'll plunk the rook down. I don't know. Not sure whether to commit to it. <sighs> Let's do it. Oh, the bishop covers the square. There was no need to do it this way. I could have moved the silver, uh, and if this pawn had advanced, I could just take it. Um, hmm. That's okay. I'm still alive. But yeah, we're struggling every game to come up with something new and interesting. But maybe that's not such a bad curse. I'm at least given the opportunity to play the game. Do I take with the bishop or with the rook? I don't want to obstruct the rook. Uh, but if I take if I take with the rook, they get a dragon. 
So we'll take this way. Oh, if this gold moves, I can drop a pawn. That's kind of interesting. I mean, surely the tactics don't end there, but at least they can't start with that understanding. Um... Okay. I'll play along. What's happening? Um, what's happening here? I'm almost certain what happened here was completely accidental, but, um, maybe not. Yeah, somehow I was imagining something other than this bishop drop defense, but... I'm not sure what I was imagining. Uh, currently, the silver is threatening to advance toward the king. If I retreat this way, I don't see a fork. Uh, if I retreat this way, it's not really a retreat, but it... Hmm. This is my best path. Uh, they can't move the gold or the silver here, because the silver literally does not move there, and the gold would hang if it moved here. Um, they could try dropping a pawn, but it doesn't improve their situation. Right, so their final pawn has been dropped. Uh, that corners this bishop. Do I have mate? I don't think so. Hmm. I have two generals and some pawns. All right, well, I'll aim for what I do see, which is that this is hanging. Um, and if this moves, then this is hanging. One down, two to go. Good luck. New Quick Ishida. That's a fun name. That's a fun pawn advance. Um, no, 
Well, actually, <laughs> I was about to suggest now I don't have the same trap that um, that other streamer has mentioned on many occasions, but I very well may have it here. Do I have it? I'm just going to play it, and we'll see if we have it or not. And unlike the last game, um, if we drop this pawn, at least we'll get a bishop this time for our troubles. Um, if somehow this combination doesn't work out. Last time we dropped a pawn for no benefit, but here uh, there seems to be a benefit to it. Um, oh, that's cool. Interesting. Push, 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 take. No, that's too risky. Um... This is risky, but I think not too risky. Since my silver will guard the square. This might be the day where I hang my center pawn every game. But... Um... I'm not trying to play for traps. I just need to study openings better than I've currently studied them. Which way? I think silver take... no, silver cakes doesn't improve my coverage of any spaces. If I take with the bishop, they hit my bishop, it moves away, and then this bishop invades. Um, so silver takes looks safest, because I have two pieces protecting this point. I have to take it, but I want to take it. Okay. That does prepare a fork. Um, normally that fork would hurt a lot, but since we've played this specific opening strategy, it doesn't hurt as much. Oh, I lose the knight. But they missed it. Um, I have to take this, don't I? Unless I have better somehow. Hmm... All right, let's just ignore this promoted pawn, which sounds crazy, but I think might be best. Nana mm -hmm. Thank you. 
Uh-oh. Right you are. Yes, that would have been quite reasonable to consider. Um, it didn't even cross my mind. Or rather, it crossed my mind, but very briefly, and I instantly dismissed it. Um, but no, I was wondering, consequently, what in the world I had missed. Because this position wasn't making sense anymore. And now I know what I missed. Um, yeah. That makes a terrific amount of sense. And now they'll drop a knight, and it's gonna hurt. Any second now, they'll drop it. <laughs> There's nothing I can do to stop them from doing that. Um... So this is going to be a long and challenging game, whereas if I had just, like, not promoted the knight and then taken one of these gold generals, then my, I would at least have an attack. But um, this silver drop is me kind of freaking out about just there being tactics, and I don't know what tactics beget tactics here, but... Um, I think I live if I play this. It's just not a very good life, but I think I'm still better. It's still... It's unclear, I think, even. But I've been playing this kind of wild opening where I just can't calculate anything. I really want to build a castle. So I'm going to make time to build a castle at the expense of my attack. Um, maybe I could have dropped back the dragon and just exchanged a lot of pieces some other way. But, yeah, two pieces for two pieces sounds like a deal. Uh, if I move my dragon up, it probably gets trapped somehow. If I move it back, they have, they'll drop a general and then take this next. Hmm. Oh, wait, this is not a... Tra okay, I don't get trapped, but it's still not where Go my dragon... It. Well, I could take the knight next. There's still value to advancing and not retreating like a complete coward. So we'll try this. Right, they insist on using their bishop. Um... Wait a second. I can take the token here. Or even the knight. They're gonna... No, they can't check me here. Uh, they're trying to do some crafty bishop drop. Um...
Nice. Well spotted. Well spotted. Um. Okay, that's crazy, though. I know I have a pro rook bias, but even I would not play this pawn drop. Hmm. So they're going to drop something over here. Um, yeah, maybe when I took the token, taking the knight instead was the correct move. I don't know. Curious again. Um, Two minutes and thirty seconds. Yeah, the whole point of having a rook is to promote it in the opposing camp. I'm not sure that this drop achieves that aim. It might, I'm just not sure if it does. Oh, that's cool. Hmm. What a mess. So if they attack this bishop, and if I take their rook, they take both my bishops, and I get a tempo. But my king might be able to run up the board. But against two bishops, that's a tough task. Um, oh yeah, this makes it easier for them to shut down my attack ideas. If knight attacks here and then there. No, that doesn't... It's not smart. Um... Well, my goal is to stop the rook from promoting. This stops the rook from promoting. I'm surprised I got away with that. Um, I thought they would 
Well, no, what was I thinking? No, gold takes silver first. And then they take my bishop. Um, yeah, that's what should have happened there. So now I'm better again, until I manage to throw this again somehow. Whoa. Oh man. Today I seem to be spotting three move combinations for the most part. So that's good. It's good to not miss such short combinations. Uh... I need to move. <sighs> Pawn drop. Hmm. Yeah, opponent's fighting well. Opponent is providing one hell of a fight. That was not correct. I missed that silver can take here. Oh my gosh. I'm kind of blind, aren't I? I'm just walking into everything here. But maybe it's fine. Thanks for the game. Two down, one to go. Good luck.
I could have dropped. No. I'm confusing myself with what little knowledge I have. How can I become so confused already? Hmm, wait. No, this is fine. I can't push this at the moment. Uh, interesting. Let's try this. I feel like I've missed something here. Whenever bishops get exchanged, I seem to have a confusing game. Oh, that's cool. That's a awesome move. Um... Hmm. That is such an awesome move. Well, all right, I'll do this wonky one-off thing because it's legal. Um, they could do bishop takes and give up the rook, but that'd be crazy. I guess they could do rook takes, but they're not going to do that. Um, they do get this pawn for free. But I shouldn't be so shaken up about that. Yeah, I'm probably volunteering to trap my own rook here, but it looks interesting.
Oh, that is a promotion. Okay, this got too interesting all of a sudden. Nanafun. Um. Hmm. So we're just playing some shogi or attempting to anyway. Um Oh, right, the sacrifice. That's a cool one. <laughs> That's a cool sacrifice. Um, I suppose they'll do it a second time. They very well could. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is crazy, but what else? What else could there be? Go Fun. Oh, silver drop. Hmm. Yeah, looks like I'm given a rook here. In a position where I really cannot afford to give a rook. Okay. Um. I'll drop the rook here and I can block with my gold. But yeah, I'm probably lost. Not just, you know, in the sense of not knowing what to do, but also in the sense of um, uh, there's probably not a way to recover, even if I knew what to do. That's cool. I think they 
might have had some cleaner way to finish me off here. Yeah, here they're playing a defensive move. Um, hmm. Oh, nice. Sampun. This is fine. What could possibly go wrong? That hasn't already. Hmm. Drop where the opponent wants to drop. <laughs> um... I guess I could have taken this. This position looks difficult. Hmm. I guess king to a different square might have put up different resistance. Whatever. Good game. Alright, well that's three games. So, since we're playing on this website, that means that's the end for today. Um, yeah, that's what it looks like. Um... The moral of the story, I suppose, is if you play such openings, you might get an interesting game for a bit, but you'll also rarely have much clue what's going on. So maybe play it, but maybe don't rely on it, and maybe don't play it for very long. I'm not sure. At some point, I should just go back to playing Central File Rook or Third File Rook or something, because this just doesn't seem to suit me well. When I do win, it's due to tactics and strategy that I don't have any 
understanding of. And when I don't win, it's the same. So yeah, maybe it's better to play something that's easier to understand. On the other hand, hey, we won some games, so I mean, I don't know. Um, our opponent's on a good winning streak there. Kudos to them and best of luck to them on their promotion journey. Anyway, thanks for watching. Have a good day.